Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about the notes module in Odoo 16. The notes module in Odoo will help you to record necessary information regarding your various business operation. It is an effective platform to create and manage notes which will help you to remember important dates and programs. You can keep notes about your business activities in this module for future programs. Now let's take a look at the notes module. Now inside the notes module, you can see all the notes which are created till date and it is under each stages like new meet, uh, meeting minutes, notes to do and all. And if you want to create a new stage, just click on the plus button here and create a stage. Okay. Now this is the Kanban view of the notes. Now if you want, you have the list view here. Okay. Now here you have the activities. You can see the activities which are scheduled. Let's go back to the Kanban view. Click on create. Now let's create a new note for that here you can see tags so you can create new tags and new is given here okay a new tag is given here now here inside the body of the notes or the content you have the slash command and with the help of slash command you can put all these kinds of input inside the note so first i'll give the Heading as new notes and I'm going to select it. So here comes a tile where you can choose the size of the note like header one and all and you can make it bold, italics or underlined, striped and all and you can change the color. Okay, you can change the color of the notes. Here you can change the background color that is the background color of the text. So you see. Like this I'm removing that color there and here you can set the size of the text and if you want to make it a bulleted list you can do that from here if you want to make it a numbered list do that from here and if you want it as a toggle checklist you can do that and if you want to add a button or make it a button with which uh, redirects you to a link you can do that also okay now let's add the content of the page for that let's use the slash command using the slash command you can create bulleted list so so here is a bulleted list next again using the slash command you can use the numbered list so you can see the numbered list here by using the slash again we have checklist so this is the checklist next we have the table if you want to insert a table you can do that so you can choose how many cells your table want so i'm giving like this so such a table is inserted now under each column you can use the slash command and insert data okay next we have the separator so i'll choose the heading slash separator so it create it, it inserts a line as and it acts like a separator between the heading and the content next we have the quote if you want to add a quote okay so you can see the style is different next we have the code if you want to insert code and all okay so here you can see the font is different okay so this is how you insert code now again click on slash you have two columns three columns and four columns so if it's two columns you have two places where you can insert data again if you click on slash and choose three columns you can see three columns here okay I'll number it for you all to understand and three okay, three and again if you put slash over here and you choose four columns you can see a fourth column has come okay now let's put slash again 
here you have heading one two three which we have already seen which is very similar to the one which we've seen and we have switch direction for that i'm giving a text um i'll give hello and slash there you can switch the direction it has reached the other end and again if you give slash and switch direction it has reached back okay now we have text if you want to add a paragraph and all you can add it then we have the image if you want to insert an image and if you want to insert an article so you can choose an article inside the knowledge module here and insert link that link is inserted okay again on slash you have add a link so i'll give a label and link that is where it should redirect and the type you can choose the type from here okay and the size and style can be set so i'll save it here you can see that link is inserted again we'll put slash inside the slash you have button okay you have the option to add a button the label url and you can choose the button style and size saving it you can see that here okay i'll put a slash here now here you have an option to add appointment so choose an appointment type from your insert link so here's the link you have an option to add calendar that is also added now there you have the option to add widgets like three star five star and finally we have the option to add signature okay so these are the features which odoo provides inside the slash command which is enough and more to make your content more attractive okay and you have all kinds of options inside that now if you just save it you can see note created now here on the top right corner you can see a small icon with one like numbered one now here if you want you can add followers to this note so for that just click on add follower choose the recipient i'll choose anita add follower a message will go to anita at the same time she's added as a follower okay so this is how you create note in the notes module let's go back we also have the filter option group by option and all and if you want to schedule an activity just click on the clock icon near the note click on schedule activity and here choose the activity which should be done choosing call okay saving it so here you can see an activity has been scheduled so these are the things which we can do inside the notes module that's all for today's video thank you